Okay, so continuing the story from earlier today. I said, you know, let's see what's going to happen when I get to where I'm going, which is the store next to, next door to the library. Right. And uh, I keep going, and I get to the fucking library, and there's this dude hanging out at the back in the back of the library who he was just he was unlocking his bike. And, you know, he just happened to be there at the time that I walked up there, which, mind you, remember that all of this has been uh, coordinated because of, you know, everything that happened before uh, led up to this, this perfect timing of me winding up there. And I started talking to this dude about his bike. I said he's got a nice bike because he had a nice bike. Um, he had one of those fucking real expensive, they're like called Spin or something. They come from a shop down here in Lakewood that we used to be in com competition with. And uh, this dude tells me that he's looking to upgrade his bike. He wants to get new parts, he wants to get it maintenance. He, he's thinking about even putting an engine on it, so a motor. And so I get put him in touch with the bike shop that I worked with uh, a while back few years ago I, I work with these guys technically I still do I mean but uh the dude who runs the shop he's he's uh down and out right now he got hurt pretty bad he's got an infection from a injury in his knee but anyways I put this dude in touch with that shop so that he can get his bike upgraded and shit which that not only is that just a nice neat little thing for me to help this dude out and and help out the people that I work with at the shop get everybody hooked up there but this dude is now a con he's on my contact list. We're gonna see what happens with this dude later. Something's gonna happen, you know. Damn, stories are going to unfold because of this encounter that just so happened to be the right timing. And so I go to the library and I I check everything out on the internet and give, grab a signal and check everything out. And after I talk to the dude, of course, and. Uh, what happened? Oh yeah. Um, one of our vendors from Project Philanthropy needed my help with something. He was worried about this dude who looked like a scammer trying to tell him he won $500,000 on the fucking, out of Facebook. Like, why would Facebook pay a foreign, you know, a foreign personal, just a individual person <laughs> happens to be on Facebook? Why would they snag him? in Indonesia and decide to give him $500,000. I'm iffy about that. I don't know what it is. I've never seen it before. So I posted it to the group and asked for their help, which we'll see what happens there. Something's going to happen because of that. Somebody will get in touch. But uh, I posted it to the group and I asked, does anybody know what this is? Is this for real or what? However, he did say that if it is for real and he gets that money, he's going to put it towards philanthropy and the initiative. So. And fucking pray on that one, shit. <laughs> but, anyways, I come back home. At, well, home. I come back to my mom's. I, I hang out there so often, I fucking call it home. But I go back to my mom's. I give her the fucking ticket. She actually wins on that one. Not a small payout, nothing big, but she actually wins. So, I mean, there's a good chance that she might not have won on the other one, right? You know? The other one might have been bunk, and that would have been that. But... Because we went and got this one, she actually made some extra money. And all that other shit happened. The promoter dude with the shoes, the fucking bike guy. Shit with Robert on the on the Facebook. But I, I go back home and we're, we're waiting on some dude to show up. Um, like all day we've been waiting on this fucking guy to come here. He's, uh, he's one of my mom's friends. He's coming to drop off some money. He owes her and fucking hook us up. We're going to go out and buy, you know, shit that she needs, fucking coffee and whatnot, but, uh, the dude showed up too late, so we're gonna have to go shopping tomorrow, but, which, that, watch, something cool will happen there when we go out shopping, we'll run into somebody, something will connect, it's just the way it works, it always, it's always happening, but, anyways, I'm sitting there all day, and I, I come out, and I'm, I'm walking home now, and, as it turns out, there's two things I forgot to mention. One, uh, Jay lost the stick that I have for his training, so we need another stick, okay? Two, I stopped on the way home when I had the lottery ticket, 
and I fucking uh, took a picture of this this um, stuffed animal that was smushed in the street because it was like roadkill, and I want to post that for my beautiful Cleveland series. It had like the batteries hanging out and shit. It was fucking hilarious, but um, crap, I'm can't see me at all. Uh, I thought that that place, I, I figured perhaps, maybe, it wasn't when I grabbed my knife that the lottery ticket fell out. Maybe it fell out when I stopped and got off the bike to take that picture. And in what case, I immediately turned around and came back, but there were people hanging out at that house. The door was open, and I think there might have been someone on the porch when I was taking the picture. So if that ticket fell out of my pocket there, those people grabbed it because I immediately turned around and went looking for it, and it wasn't there. So if it fell out of my pocket there, somebody, the dude on the porch or whomever, immediately grabbed it and took it. So, regardless of whether I knocked it out when I reached for the knife or it fell out when I was taking the pictures of the roadkill, of the, uh, <laughs> the, uh, what do you call it, um, synthetic roadkill, uh, as I'm taking pictures, if it fell out when I was taking pictures of that, or not, I, the point is, I blame them, no matter what the case. I'm going to blame them. I'm going to say that those people probably snagged my ticket because it wasn't on the corner where I went to look for it where I grabbed the knife either. So, I mean, what are the odds that somebody else is going to be there and see it? I'm guessing it probably fell out when I was taking the pictures and some, one of those people grabbed it. So, anyways, I need that stick. We can't train Jay without the stick. That's why we're fucking held up now. But I'm coming back down just now, walking home, and that house is all closed up. The roadkill's still sitting out front, the fabricated roadkill. And uh, guess what the fuck they have sitting out in the front of their fucking house? A perfect fucking wooden stick for training him, which, of course, I snagged up and took back. And then there was something else that happened on the way down. I got my knife hooked up to my arm in this little kind of... Uh, holster thing on my on my wrist and I was a little worried about you know if the cops stop me they're gonna fucking bust me on that for sure they always do they steal my shit all the fucking time but I'm a little worried about that and then I'm carrying this stick and I'm figuring that's a reason for them to stop me right there they'll bug me about that stick and I see this fucking uh truck this little kid's truck toy truck sitting in a puddle and in someone's driveway down at the bottom of the street that's flashing red for some reason. It's flashing red at me. I turned it off, but I considered that a warning, you know, telling me to go back. So I went back and dropped the stick off. Now, there's no evidence of that. There's no uh, follow through on that one. But I'm going to go ahead and bet you that had I kept on going with that stick, I'd have gotten stopped by the cops. So, I mean, that's just a, a, an example of how I operate. How, how a spotter should be expected to operate. You, the world's going to be speaking to you all the time. you got to be aware of it. Treat it as though it's a friend, that it's there to help, that it's always there to help, that it's talking to you all the time because it is. And, I mean, you can fucking shit on that and call me crazy all you want, but try it. Test it out for a few days, you know? See what, see what happens. See if it doesn't fucking start guiding you. And, and the more that you pay attention to it, the more that you engage it, the more that you react to it, the more it will happen until it's just happening all day long, every fucking day. And you're never, ever not doing something there. There is never nothing going on. That sucks. That's a quote. Anyways, that's the end of my story. Thanks for watching.